So, hello everyone. My name is David. I'm one of the academic dermatology registrars here at Guy's and St. Thomas's. I'm going to talk to you today about the APRICOT trial, uh, which looked at Anakinra specific medication uh, in the management of palmoplantar pustulosis. As many of you will know, palmoplantar pustulosis, as Professor Smith touched on just there, is a very severe inflammatory condition um, in which people develop um, extremely painful, sore, red skin on the hands and feet, as well as these very debilitating pus-filled lumps. The Apricot study was a large-scale trial um, across the UK, which investigated whether a daily injection with a medication called Anakinra would help control palmoplantar pustulosis symptoms. Anakinra is used in several conditions um, and works to dampen down the immune system. It blocks an inflammatory signaling molecule called interleukin-1. And the hope was that by blocking this molecule and dampening down the immune system, we would reduce the palmoplantar pustulosis symptoms. The team spoke to 374 people all across the country, and ultimately 64 people um, eventually took part in the trial. Palmoplantar pustulosis tends to affect um, women more than men, and the um, trial participants reflected this. And we also know that there's a very strong link with smoking, and again, the trial numbers reflected this. Participants um, were randomized to receive either the active treatment anakinra or a non-active treatment or placebo. So half went into each arm of the trial. Patients, uh, participants self-injected um, either the anakinra or the placebo every day, um, once a day for eight weeks and were monitored throughout the trial. The main way we looked at how bad or how active um, the PPP was, was using something called the PP Parsi scoring system, um, which some of you may well remember being um, done on, on your hands and feet. It looks at the degree of redness, the degree of scaling, the amount of surface area involved on the hands and feet, and also the pustules um, to, to give a, a kind of cumulative score of how, how active the disease is. And then we looked at the scores um, at the beginning of the trial and then throughout the trial and then at the end of the eight weeks to see what the overall effect was. We also took a number of different other measurements, including how patients or participants re reported um, the, their disease activity, um, as well as the overall total number of pustules that they had on their hands and feet. So let's look at the results. First off, so disappointingly, we, when we measured the disease activity, we saw no overall difference between um, the participants who received the anakinra versus those who received the placebo. And so this shows ultimately that anakinra doesn't seem to work well to control PPP. We also looked at the total number of pustules on the hands and feet, and again, noticed no difference between the two arms of the trial. Looking specifically about how participants thought their disease was in terms of symptom burden and how active it was, again, there was no overall difference between um, those who received the anakinra and those who received the placebo. Crucially, we also looked at the side effects of the two drugs um, to see if there was a difference. And we noted that there were far more injection site reactions noted with anakinra versus placebo. Now, an injection site reaction is when you develop a hot, red, swollen um, reaction at the site where you injected. And those of you who did receive the active treatment may, may well remember this happening. So overall, what we found was, unfortunately, anakinra does not appear to be an effective treatment uh, for palmoplantar pustulosis, and it didn't improve um, participant scores over the eight weeks. And as a result, it's not a treatment that we will be using moving forward for PPP. However, the trial generated a huge amount of data and research opportunities, which we will touch on in Professor Capon's talk. And so whilst overall, 
Anna Kinra didn't work, the trial was a huge success um, in terms of everything that we gained from it. The full results uh, with all the data um, regarding all the different outcomes that we measured is available um, at this link at the bottom. And um, please do ask if you would like the link to the full paper at the end of this talk. So moving forward, we need to find new effective treatments for palmoplant postulosis. By applying our learning from the apricot trial, we've identified a new class of drugs which we, which we already use in eczema and rheumatoid arthritis um, with really good results. And our hope is that they will work very well in PPP as well. Now, this trial is due to start in 2023. And what we hope is that if we can show that these drugs work well, then we'll be able to apply to get them prescribed on the NHS moving forward. I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear that this it will be a daily oral medication as opposed to an injection. So we'll get rid of all those injection site reactions. And of note, everyone who is enrolled in this trial will receive the active treatment. And that's because we're going to be reusing all of the placebo data from the apricot trial again. So for all of those, those of you who were involved in the trial, I think it's really important to know that all of your efforts and your contributions are still being put to good use and they're still generating ex extremely useful uh, research outcomes moving forward. Um, please do uh, drop an email to myskin at kcl.ac.uk if you would like to know more about this trial or to just express your interest at this early stage.